on this episode of Swamp People. Oh, watch out! Oh! I'm glad to see this thing quit. Oh! Now that my husband has gone back to work, all the weight is on me. I'm gonna have to get wet. Alligator that come chomped on him, broke a tooth in his eye. Look at that. Oh, my God. Snagger tooth cost me a 10-foot alligator. I have his tooth, but now I want the rest of them. First rays of sun peak over the horizon on day 23 of alligator season in southern Louisiana. And with one week left to fish, Willie's on a mission to catch big money giants. So today, rather than running lines which snag gators of all sizes, Willie's hunting exclusively with his treble hook. Shoot him in open water today. That old big rob, got plenty of bullets. You never know when he's gonna pop up right beside the boat. Get on up here and see what we can see. Come on, right there. He's just that fast, he's gone. I'm gonna see if he ain't still sitting there. I'm gonna throw the hook on him. Yep, he moved somewhere or something, I don't know. You gotta be patient, you gotta wait him out. I mean, that's a fine gator, and I'm gonna, if he give me the chance, I'm gonna kill him. He gonna stir up here in a second, we're gonna find him. Right there, yeah, that's him. You don't know, I know his bubbles. I got a log. I got something, yeah, a log or something. Stuck pretty bad. I know he's right here, he ain't far. That alligator could have come over here and laid right beside that log too, though. See, he's smart. Come on now. I don't want to straighten my hooks, man. Come on now. Damn. While pulling this treble free, Willie bent two of its prongs, and the beast remains at large. I'm trying to find something like Venma. Stuck back. Got the hook back going. With his treble quickly fixed, Willie's back in action. And no way he made it to that bank. But that was him right there. He didn't run, though. He didn't go nowhere. Y'all, he don't squat down. Okay. 
Once you get that first tag, there's just nothing better feeling than that. And if it keeps going like it's going, I'm gonna do good today. Over in Pecan Island, Willie's not the only swamper hunting solo. Today, homesteader Christy Broussard's trying to fill her final six tags alone. I'm pretty nervous about today. Everything's gonna be harder. Now that my husband has gone back to work and gator season still isn't finished, all the weight is on me. A lot of dangerous situations you could get yourself into hunting by yourself. I, I didn't even sleep last night just thinking about all the different scenarios. What am I gonna do if I catch a big one? I don't even know how I'm gonna get it in the boat. I haven't been nervous hunting alligators ever before like this. Line is down. They got him on the bank. Okay. Got a line down. Got a mess going back there. It's in the grass, and it's very dangerous when an alligator's in the grass because you don't know what they're gonna do. Oh, he's over here. Oh, my goodness. Son of a... In over three decades of gator hunting, this is Christy's first solo catch. It's a whole different feeling doing it by yourself. Seven. It'd have been hell if he was a, a big 11 out here. I know I could get six, seven, eight footers in the boat all day long. You know, a nine, mm, I could probably, probably do it, but anything over a nine and a half, 10, uh-uh. I almost don't want to catch a big one. On to the next one. First line, I had a gator, no problem. Looking like it's gonna be a good day. 123 miles east on Grand Lake. After a turbulent season fishing together, Chase Landry and his brother Jacob are hoping to begin their final week on a high note. I think Chase learned a lot this year. You know, you could see that things was finally starting to sink in and he was trying to be more responsible. It was a good learning curve for him and uh, for me also. Landry boys of town. For the most part, I mean, we just rock and roll, Jacob and I, this season. Being a captain of the boat, I got a, a better understanding of the bigger picture when it comes to how we work as a team and what I can do to help him and you know what I need him to do to help me and how we work together. The line's down. Got one. Got something here, Chase Michael. Is a good one or what? Oh, he's dead. No good. Son of a biscuit. Oh. Look at this. What? We just pulled up to a dead gate on the line, and me and Chase had something we never seen before. Oh, my God. Look at that. 
two. Alligator that come chomped on him, broke a tooth in his eye. This monster is not just dead. He's been slayed by an even bigger beast. Never in a million years have I seen or would have thought I would have seen a, a big old tooth like that broken in the skull of another giant alligator. That is awesome, huh? I don't want to see the thing that did that. I would love to see that thing pop up. And we knew he was a giant just by the size of the tooth, and he definitely got us fired up. It was a quest. I can't wait to catch him. Look on his tail. It give you an idea just how wide his jaws are. Big one that chomped on him. Nine inches. Nine inches across, teeth to teeth. We decided to start calling him Snaggletooth. I have his tooth, but now I want the rest of them. One of the good things is if we catch him, we'll definitely know it's him by looking in his mouth. We're going after him, and we ain't not going to stop until we catch him. Over in Gonzales, Glenn Geist is up to something rather unusual, even for him, when his best friend Todd stops by. Uh-oh. So when I drove up to Glenn's house today, he was pouring a, a salt ring around his house. And I knew right when I saw it what it meant. You got a ghost, huh? Yep. The hair on the back of your neck standing up for no reason? Yeah. You feel like a cool breeze sometimes out of nowhere? Yeah. You get like a little funky smell every once in a while out of nowhere? Yeah. Terrible smell. Even worse than usual. It ain't coming from you. Nope. Pretty sure you got a ghost. Hey, sometimes they got some strange stuff that happens in my house. So I decided to do something about it. Get this joker out of here. I have a little experience with getting rid of ghosts. I've lived amongst ghosts, and uh, I, I know how to do it. Man. Yeah, dude. It smells pretty funky. You can feel it, too. Yeah, man, look at the hair on my arm standing up. There are things in the spiritual world that I don't understand. So I believe in ghosts. There ain't no telling what could have floated out the swamp. Well, you got your uh, kit? Yeah, I got it right here. To tackle the problem head on, Glenn digs out the guy's family paranormal kit, passed down through four generations. Mama used to believe in ghosts. And every time something would happen in the house, she would pull out this box. I got everything in here. First things first, let's uh, try to burn the sage. Burning sage is an old swamp remedy for getting rid of unwanted visitors from the spirit world. Now listen to me, spirit. We don't mean you any harm. You got to move on. Glenn needs his peace in this house. Yeah, please get out, because I don't want to make you mad. It's always better to not make a spirit angry. Why provoke a spirit, you know, when you can ask them nicely to leave? All right, that's good. Let's step outside for a minute and see if maybe that was enough to uh, send him or her on their way. With the ritual complete, there's nothing left to do but wait and see. I was scared. We were both scared. We got more work to do, bro. Yeah, it sounds like it. 140 miles west, in Pecan Island, in her first solo hunt, Christy's bagged two gators so far and needs four more to tag out. I did a lot of stressing and not sleeping last night worrying. But I think I worried for nothing because, you know, two gators in the boat and I'm and I'm almost done. It's going pretty good. Ow! Look at him! Oh, 
I come around the corner, and there was this huge alligator. Oh! I took out the treble hook, went to sling it. Ah! It don't work! It was broke. What do I have going on right here? We use this fishing pole with the treble hook on the end of it all season. Some of gun ain't reeling up. And it got knocked around, it got stepped on, alligators got thrown on it, and it broke the rings off. This broke off. So when I cast it, it knots up. Hoping if I just clip these things off that broke, I'll be able to throw. There we go. Look! There he is. Oh. Whoa. His skin's so tough. Okay, I'm right on top of him. Oh. Now what? Mm. I just hope he's hooked good. Oh no! 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 The Leviathan slips away yet again. That son of a... Leaving Christy empty-handed. Another ring broke. No, no bubbles, no nothing. He just, he just got away. This thing shot. Over and by you, Sorrel. Willie's targeting giants in open water. But after an older treble failed him this morning, he's pulled out his most prized possession. I brought my good treble hook, my big one. This is Old Faithful right here. I named him because when you throw it on him and you touch the alligator with it, he's caught. I done caught him in the mouth. I done caught him right between the toes. If he just touch it in any kind of way, he's a caught alligator. And uh, I call him Old Faithful, and he helps out big time. Right there. Wait for his bubbles to come up. He's a big old gator. I see him out there. Right on top of him. God, dog, man. You got the hook hung up. Seen a pile of bubbles, threw the hook over it, and caught a stump. That's unreal two times in one day. To recover Old Faithful, Willie will tie off the line and try using the power of his motor to rip it loose. Once I hook it to this boat, there's a chance I'm losing that hook. Come on out of there, boy. Please don't break. Broke my rope. Lost my treble hook. That is unbelievable, man. I should have known pulling on that like that. It's just frustrating when you pop your line on that hook, you ain't going down there 40 foot of water and get that hook back. And especially when you know what's down there. Lost my stinking hook, boy. That was my good luck hook, too. It's the final week of gator season. And on Grand Lake, the Landry brothers are hunting a savage cannibal known as Snaggletooth. Well, you know, we're running lines in the area that Snaggletooth is, and uh, you just never know what's going to be on the end of the line. Let's kind of tight. Alligator? I don't know. Shot. Ooh. You're going to die. Ooh. 
This monster is 10 feet long, but there's only one way to know if it's their target. That ain't him. It definitely ain't big enough either. Oh, I was hoping we'd catch him. This is a 10, 10 and a half foot alligator, and look, look at the size difference in the teeth. You know, it's pretty neat to have this tooth with us because this tooth just shows and demonstrates how big this alligator must actually be compared to these nice 10 foot size alligators. A lot smaller. Really? Oh, yeah. Way smaller. It goes to show you, huh? Back in Gonzales. Let's go find a ghost stick, bro. Ghost stick? Yeah. Todd turns to an age-old Cajun practice to deal with the poltergeist in Glenn's house. Todd's trying to help me get rid of my ghost. Cut this off right here. And he gets me to cut a stick. Then what the hell are you gonna do with a stick? We're gonna make a little deal out of it. And that's gonna help us find out exactly where the ghost is in your house. You sure you know what you're talking about, man? Todd knows what he's doing sometimes, but I don't know about this stick business. This piece mm. right here, mm. put it in your back pocket. Put it in my back pocket? Yeah. Keep that in your back pocket. Come on. Well, them two pieces of stick you got is what I got in my back pocket. Yeah. You're going to find a ghost with that. We're going to try. You got a better idea? No. All right. I don't know what Todd got planned, but I'm just going to go with it. All right. And what that's supposed to do? I'm trying to feel where I sense a presence at. Look, walk over there. Right. Yeah? Let's go over there by the sink. It's not over here. Look, go over there. Look, go over there. We walking around the house. Nothing. There ain't no ghost, but I just got to trust Todd. All right, I feel something over here. Where? That's it. Where, in this chair? Whatever spirit's in here is in that chair. So Todd figures out the ghost is in my chair. I like my chair too damn much, but I ain't getting rid of my chair. All right, well, we're gonna have to take it to the next level. We're gonna have to get spiritual on this thing, man. Let's take it there, man. All right. I want it gone, bro. 43 miles west, in Bayou Sorrel, Willie's trying to fill his boat with giants swimming in open water, but he can't afford any more mistakes. Got the only trouble I got left right now in the boat with me. Just gotta pay attention and watch what I'm doing before I don't lose out, because that's my last one. Right there. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Ah! Pull it off, pull the hook off. A massive brute pops Willie's line, taking his last treble hook with it. Damn! Are you serious? Don't have a treble hook now. I mean, I don't know what I'm gonna do with myself. Well, I'd never done that before in my life. Lose two out treble hooks in one day. And it was two treble hooks in one day right there. Since he didn't hang lines today, Willie has no choice but to call upon his bayou roots and build a swamp harpoon. Before treble hooking started, we used cane pole and used duct tape, but we didn't have no duct tape in the boat right then. So I had to find, rig up something, how I was gonna use to hold the hook on the pole. And we took and uh, used a uh, bait bag. The solo hunter attaches a fishing hook to his cane pole using a plastic bag. Whatever we got in the boat, we use. I mean, I put it to use for anything. I mean, if I can use it, I'm going to use it, no matter what I got to do with it. That plastic, it'll break loose. Once you hook that alligator, he'll break that plastic off the rope, and he'll shoot the pole sideways, and your alligator going to even better fight him. You can't catch an alligator with it. And I have caught him plenty of them. First one I ever caught was with a hook pole. Now, 10 years old, that was my first alligator I ever killed. 
with a hook pole, and he was 11 foot long. I'm losing my treble hook, and that's like a duck without wings. Can't fly. We're gonna do the best, and we're gonna see what we're gonna do with this cane pole. So I gotta get on down the road, make some time. One hundred and twenty-eight miles southwest. Morning turns to afternoon in Pecan Island, and Christy needs to fill two more tags to end her season. So the day's going great. I have just a couple lines left, so I'm just hoping that I have gators on these last two lines, and I just hope they're not big ones. Another line down. Tight. Let's see what we got. What we got? No, let's see what I got. No weed today. Back in Pierre Park. Hey, it lines down. Chase and Jacob are dead set on capturing their nemesis, Snaggletooth. Got one? I don't see it. We know that there's other big alligators in this area, but the chances of catching him and not 50 of the other alligators that surround here is, is slim to none. But it is just up to the good Lord above to give us the luck to catch him. See the lilies moving. Something swimming down there. Oh, we got Jacob in there. He's down there. Look, look. Look, he's down there. You know, every time we get an alligator on the line, I hope it's the gator we've been looking for, old snaggle too. Oh, 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 oh. oh, my goodness. Get the gun, honey bun. This big sucker's gonna explode and ain't gonna be nothing nice. What you got, dude? He's hugging that bottom, and you know what that means, huh? We're fixing to go on a roller coaster ride. Here we go. Roll the motor on, baby. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Better hold on, Jacob Lander. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo. Hang on, Jake. Whoa, whoa. Ooh, he's big enough to be snagged. <laughs> A hole in him. I guarantee you that's him, dude. Give me some of that. Look at two of his missing. His big canine tooth missing. Look at that. I could see one of his big canine teeth were broken and it was black with mud. So you could see he had just freshly broken it not too long ago. And I knew right then and there that was him. One, two, three. We knew this alligator was a giant, old snaggle tooth. It, it took a little extra work, but we finally caught up with him. Huh? 
25 miles northeast. You found something to make the water in? Yeah. And what you gonna do with the water? You gotta bless that water, Glenn. You gotta make some holy water. Glenn and Todd are cooking up an old-fashioned exorcism. Now, you're gonna have to make the holy water, Glenn, because it's your chair, it's your ghost, so you're gonna have to be the one to drive it out. I don't have no idea how to make holy water. Take some of this salt. Yeah. Put you a couple pinches in the water. When you're making holy water, you just need salt and water, but the main ingredient of it is the belief. Do you believe? I believe in anything to get rid of him. If you are making holy water and you believe that that's holy water, then it's holy water. Take this rope. Mm -hmm. Dip it in your water, sprinkle that holy water around that chair. You gotta leave, spirit. It's time to go. Leave Glenn's house, leave Glenn in peace. That's all I'm asking for, just for you to leave. Okay, Glenn, let's just back up on out of here, and it should be gone. So, do you believe he's gone, Glenn? Yeah, I believe he's gone. You sure? Yeah. 100%? Yeah, I believe. You ever thought about selling, Glenn? You know, in today's market, sellers are really getting top dollar for property around these ports. Forty-three miles west. This is usually a little hot spot right here. Armed with his makeshift swamp harpoon, Willie's looking to turn his day around. The way it's going right now, kind of rough. The way I feel, but if I ain't no type to give up, I keep going. It takes a lot to make me give up. Now I've been through a lot, but I ain't about to be ready to quit. It's kind of like a harpoon, but you're snatching it in instead of shooting it or throwing it. When you touch the alligator, you hurry up and snatch back, and that's what sets the hook. We're going to be careful where we throw it at and what we do with it, but it'll catch a bull. I mean, it'll catch one big as you want them. There's a bubble right here. Yeah, that's something like that. Oh, yeah. Once the hook snags his monster, Willie's designed it to break away from the cane pole leaving him to fight with his grasp on the line. God. Got him. Oh, watch out, watch out. I'm gonna have to shoot this thing quick. I got him on a little bitty hook. This nine footer helps Willie's wallet. And with his new harpoon in hand, he's determined to fill his boat. A real man don't whine and complain. I mean, you grunt, grunt and growl every now and then as far as whining and complaining. I mean, you got to be a real man. You got to suck them tears back and just keep on going. That's the old time hooking right there. Got my pole back here and reuse it. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's try this rigging again. I mean, as long as it works, you got to keep on the truck. Over on the bayous of Pecan Island, Christy's down to her final tag as she tries to wrap up her season solo. Another one down. My tag out right here. One tag left, lines down. I'm excited. It's going to the right. 
I'm gonna ram this thing up on the bank. like it was dead weight. I couldn't even lift it. So right then and there, I knew, I knew I was fixing to get into something. This is a monster. I'm gonna shoot him as soon as, because I do not want this alligator to roll or get mad or start a fight. I do not want to battle with this alligator. This is a monster. <sighs> Look at him. That's big. I might have to get a shot before. Oh! This ain't good. Oh. Oh! Every bit of 12 foot right here. Killing them's the easy part. Now what? Now what? How am I gonna get him in the boat? <sighs> Holy crap. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I gotta think about this. My husband had left his roping rope that he ropes cows with. Maybe that'll get it done. If I could wrap it around his jaws. <sighs> this ain't gonna work. I can't do it. I'm gonna try right here. And on the back end of my boat, I have a, a, a lower platform. Mm. OK, OK, now I'm gonna secure this. I was able to pick him up enough to where his, his front shoulders and his head got on that back deck. Whoop his back leg. I might have to get wet. I might have to get wet. to tag out. With this 12-foot behemoth, Christy tags out on her biggest catch of the season. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> oh. Something to tell the kids. Never say can't. You can do anything you want to do. As long as you put your mind to it, and don't give up. The biggest alligator I've ever caught was on the last tag. Tag out, record breaker. I got him. I got that big boy all by myself. <laughs> we got a tractor hanger. We couldn't pass up the opportunity to hang it from the front end loaded of the tractor to just visualize that size. When it's in the boat, you know, yeah, it's big. But you don't get the visualization of it until it's hanging in the air and it's twice the size of you. Look at that. 
He's bigger than I thought. Called my mom to bring the kids. Called my grandma and my grandpa. Look. Look, mama. Look at mama. God. Look, mama God. Look how big he is. I was very proud to show him that big alligator. My kids see that mama can do it. Mama could do that, and my little girl. Here, fight. You know, she's gonna grow up in this world, and she'll know that that women could do whatever they want to do. My little boy, the same thing. What y'all think? Mama got that. All by yourself? Yes. I wish you'd have been there to help me. This season, we did really good. We made a profit. We was able to buy material to build our hay barn. Give me five and we got a story to tell the rest of my life and the story that my kids will tell and pass on. Look at it. Rawr. Rawr. On the next episode of Swamp People. With this cool front, they're not hungry. The boat's completely empty. We never went home with nothing. It's a little nippy out here. Gators don't like this. Ow! Cousin's coming in from out of town. Yeah? She's a nice looking gal. I think y'all might have a good time. Get in there, Russell. You're a beautiful man inside and out. Uh. Oh. oh, I got it. Uh. There you go, there you go. Oh, watch that thing, watch that thing. Oh, do we have a big?